Tak čau lidi, vítejte u nového videa ze série Assassin's Creed. Dneska jdeme na Periklovo sympózium. Popravdě nevím, co tam budeme dělat. Úplně si ten úkol nepamatuju. A tak no, uvidíme, co se bude dít, jestli tou hlavní linkou budeme moc pokračovat dál. Pokud jo, tak budeme pokračovat, no a pokud ne, tak vyhaňíme nějaký okultistu. Ještě bych tam měl mít nějaký s nízkým levelem, tak uvidíme. Du -du -du -du. Aha. A to máme jako nepozorovaně, jo? Nebo si tam jen tak nakráčí? Ty kokot. Cassandra, it's you, Phoebe. You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have. I also said stay out of trouble, which I have. Okay, almost out of trouble. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... No, I don't think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. Zkusíme to. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Wow. I look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Ty ve ruce má kladivo a chtěla by si brát zbraně, ne? Here, Cassandra. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongue. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> it looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. 
You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Trasimachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is tak, not a time for jealousy, čekal. but for love. Ten nás bude vysírat po zbytek hry. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, jak to tam droplo? Does a mistyos like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Irovitus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. You're alone with these people? <laughs> you'll do fine without me, I promise. Just relax, talk to the others, and focus on finding your mother. Ty vole, tak to bude ukecená epizoda. Oh my god. Du -du -du -du, tak ukáž. Hmm. Jasný jo. Tak kde je Sofokles? Tamhle se schovává a je to jeden. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every pedis. Tak koho to zajímá? Heh, nejradši bych mu řekl, že je bohatý a namyšlený osel. A my hledám Sofie. Spare me. I'm only looking for clues to help me find a Spartan woman. Hmm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, Ty vole, já mu to měl říct. Too much. You could talk to every pedis. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. Hmm. Jo, teď nevím, co mám dát. A ho, chlasáme ho. And I'll slip away unseen. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Tadamzivino. <laughs> Oh, 
A, učkej. Se nechal pít vínem. Ty vole, je... Který to říkal to víno, že mu mám vzít? Absolutely horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their mind. It was slutty, you do. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Thanks, Noah. Okay. What's on the olive oil? Olive. Steve. Olive. No, no, I don't know. A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? I'm called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Everybidis. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Everybidis. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Everybidis likes to say. Don't you, Everybidis? When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea! Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we argues drink. To Dionysus. Some very bad wine, sacra. This, this is delicious. This is nectar of the god. Another round. How about some more? Seven. Where did you find this delicious wine? It must be Pericles' finest. You know what they say: good wine makes good friends. Ah, we should go buy it. Ready for another? This is the best symposium I've been to in a while. You know what? I like you. Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every piece, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepius for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. 
No, dobré, to jsme svoukli. Něco tam má. You can stop hiding in here. Every pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Hid this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact, or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Tak, nějaký XP pěkně, paráda. Tak, splníme ještě ten jeden úkol tady. Ať to máme za sebou. Tyhle, to zase bude hovňarský rozhovor. To tady vidím. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons. And these men work the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Ty vole, jelikož vypadáš jako chodící syfilis, tak asi úplně ne. Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Did you but some of them that? The Atera. I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force, and the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. To co bys chtěla? Tady sama ožralá huba. Proč je v nice? Oh no! 
Tyjo, a spasy je. Hmm. No, musíme to udělat, tady to doděláme. And gaining access to this symposium is no small feat. Though you said there are things you wouldn't do, you gain Pericles' trust so quickly. I've made my choice. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my intention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient, and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! This argument between you two is pointless. Perhaps. How do you define art? I'm not getting dragged into this. Very well. Answer this. Does the artist not give form and symmetry to her subject? Well, yes. Laws and justice do much the same for people, do they not? And is there any better way to communicate the story of a people than by revealing its customs and laws? If yes, then ruling, and thus justice, must be an art, as Thrasimachos says. If you say so. Aspasia. You shouldn't be too hard on Socrates. He really has a brilliant mind, even if he comes off a little strong. He isn't always like that, is he? Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Ah, I did see. what I had to, and I'd do it again. I make no apologies. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. Hmm. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. 
When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. No teda, tohle to bude ukecená epizoda. Ne teda ode mě, ale z jejich strany. Tak, kudy na balkon. Dá se tam nějak normálně. Tak kámo, jdeme slavit. Cassandra, I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. You've been hiding from your guests long enough. Aspasia seems to think so too. Uh, she usually does. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erovodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Tyhle věci mě moc nezajímají. life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erovodos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... related to one of the cult members. And I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. No, the message is that no hadre amizima. Tak kdo by to byl řekl ty, ono to mě zabere půl hodiny jako, tady to vykecávání. To brud. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? Ah, si. I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? Já sám nevím. Já si do Argu. There is a physician in Argolis that may be able to help me. You're sick? You've never been sick. No, no, I'm fine. I just need to talk to him. Okay, good. It would be weird if you were sick. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra!
No to jsme si teda zahráli dneska. To tam máme za stopu. Hmm. No, k tomu se dostaneme. Tak, naběhly nám nový úkoly. Jo, na Hippokrata zase máme úroveň. To je prostě vřití. No nevadí, no, v příští epizodě si zvedneme trochu level. Tím, že uděláme nějaký úkoly okolo. Třeba pokud tady nějaký najdu. Zatím to moc nevypadá. Ale oni nejspíš ty úkoly budou to. Nějaký nový budou v těch lokacích, kam teďka pojedeme. Tam by to nemělo být vlastně úplně omezený nějak. No ale do té doby, užívejte dne a zdár.